Hey everyone, how you doing? I'm Tim Holtz, creative director for Ranger, and another exciting release in the Seasonal Distress series. This is the winter collection of the limited edition Seasonal Distress ink pads. Really great colors for obviously the holiday season, the Christmas season. Same thing, three unique pads in one set of limited colors, and when they're gone, they're gone. But I'll tell you what, this time, Rangers definitely stepped up production to make sure that we have enough ink pads, hopefully for the draw of this. So let me show you what these colors are going to be. First up, we've got Evergreen Bow. Now this is a really nice green because I wanted to create a green that had a nice festive touch that had a little bit of a blue into it. So I really like the whole Evergreen color and you can see how nice it really blends. It does really great for holly leaves. And next up, Festive Berries. Now, cool thing about this red, it's a very vibrant red. I would say it's a much brighter than, say, Barn Door not nearly as deep as fire brick it's right in between it's really really nice and then of course I also have to have a favorite every release so this one is iced spruce and the cool thing about this color is it's really a unique color of kind of a gray blue mix and I really like the icy effect that this gives this is gonna be good not only for like pine trees but snowflakes things like that so let me show you like last time how these colors really fit in with the rest of the existing distress. Now remember, these are limited colors, so these colors, as much as people have emailed me over and over, they're not going to be part of the permanent distress line. They're just a limited release. Uh, hopefully seasonal, so they'll be back next Christmas, we hope. So let me take you through. Bundled Sage, this is going to be the light green that exists in the line. Peeled Paint. This is the new Evergreen Bow, and I wanted to really point out how it differs from Pine Needles. You can see that it has that same kind of blue-green look, but it's not nearly as dark as Pine Needles. It's really, really great for a background. Then we have Festive Berries. I think when you see all the reds together you really see the unique properties of this color. Barn Door is that nice light red but it still has a little bit of orange to it where Festive Berries is that true traditional Christmas red. There's Fired Brick and of course the deep color Aged Mahogany. Now when we get into the blues, check out Ice Spruce. See I told you it was a really kind of a cool gray blue color. We've got Weathered Wood which also has that gray blue property but not nearly as gray as the ice spruce stormy sky and faded jeans so let me take you through real quick also and just show you how these colors will work on a project I'll take that out I've got some pieces that I've die cut let's start here with the evergreen bow just use my blending tool and go in and what's great about this as well is that ability because it is the same great distress. I can blend this out and I don't have to go super, super dark on this. I can leave some of that light area. And I think when you're doing a traditional Christmas project, it's really nice to have those traditional colors that even though it's distressed, it gives that nice vintage appeal. So there's our evergreen on those holly leaves. Look at those. Take our berries. How fitting. Let's take our blending tool and just tap on festive berries. That's going to be that real punch of red and then on my background tag I'm just gonna go in with my ice spruce on this one I think for this I'm just gonna go a little bit of direct to paper and just swipe some of this right on the tag shake up just got some perfect pearl mist here just gonna shake that up and I'm just gonna spritz this on now remember this is distressed so it's gonna have that reactive property I'll go in I'll dry this up the great thing about perfect pearl mist is because it has that pearl in it it's not only going to blend some of that color, but give this a nice pearly sheen. Don't worry about that tag curling. It'll flatten back out. Just give it a second. There we go. All right, and I just want this to be dry to the touch because I'm gonna still go in and add a little bit of blended color as well. That's why I just did a quick direct to paper. All right, so I've got that. Let me grab a towel real quick. Wipe this off of my craft sheet. All right, so I've got my tag. Then I'm gonna go in again with a little bit more of this ice spruce and my blending tool. And the reason I like to use the inks different ways is because obviously even with the same color, I can create a little bit more dimension on my tag. I can have some lighter effects and also some darker effects just by either using the blending tool or going direct. So it gives it, to me, this gives it a great icy wintry effect on the background. Pretty cool. So when you layer that, we've got that really awesome evergreen bow and of course throw in a little bit of festive berries the perfect winter set for seasonal distress so i hope you're able to get your 
hands on a set of these. Check your local stores or, of course, check online for the winter limited edition seasonal distress. Thanks.